assimilation and accommodation. These are two types of cognitive adaptations as defined by Jean Piaget to help us achieve cognitive equilibrium or mental balance when we learn something new. So assimilation is the interpretation of a new experience to fit into an old idea. So the classic example is a child sees a dog. The child goes to her friend's house and they have a dog so she learns that this furry four-legged creature that is a family pet is called a dog. And so the next time she goes to another person's house and that person um, has a four-legged creature and they're soft and they're a pet, she will say she'll go into her little library of vocabulary words and go, hmm, four-legged creature, soft pet dog, when in fact this friend happens to have a cat. After all, this creature also has four legs is soft and furry and it's also a family pet so why isn't it a dog so that's assimilation because she's trying to fit her old idea her definition of a dog into what she sees that's very similar but then she quickly learns that with a cat the cat is meowing and then the cat ignores her whereas the cat the dog before was friendly he would come up and lick her hand her face and the dog barks the cat meows and so on and so forth and so she learns the differences and then when she's able to t um, call the cat a cat and notice those differences th and um, she can see a dog and call the dog a dog then that's accommodation because now with accommodation that is the restructuring of old ideas um, to include new experiences so these two terms are important when you are teaching children new things that sometimes a different word will come out because and then when that happens you'll know that they are trying to assimilate the knowledge given into something that they already know. And then when they learn that the new word is for the new thing that they've just learned, then they've accommodated it. So that is a difference between assimilation and accommodation.